Star Wars fans across the globe. It's National Star Wars Day. Many know it better as May the 4th. Be with you mm -hmm. for our adventure today. You're not <laughs> going to need to use a Millennium Falcon or anything like that. Instead of a galaxy far, far away, we are traveling about 48 miles from our ABC 10 News studios up the 15 freeway. There's the shot for you all the way to Wild Wonders in Bonsall. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is live there right now. And Jared, you're there to meet a very special little critter. I am here to meet Kima the Kinkajou because guys, you know, inspiration and movie magic can come from anywhere. In the case of everyone's favorite newest Star Wars character, Baby Yoda or Grogu or the child or whatever name you want to use, Kima here was one of the animals that helped bring him to life. Kima helped provide some of the voices. She's very happily eating some grapes right now. I'm joined by Kimberly Wright, who is one of the keepers here at Wild Wonders in Bonzel. And, and Kimberly, let's start from the beginning. How did you guys get involved with the Mandalorian? Well, it's so interesting. We have just quite a variety of animals, about 100 animals, 70 different species. And so Disney actually contacted us because they were looking for um, some sound effects right some voices that they thought might be great for some of the new characters and they talked to us about the mandalorian so they actually said great we have a lot of unusual animals a lot of unusual sounds and so they came and um we actually did a lot of different voices and a lot of different sounds from many of the animals and it's all positive reinforcement as you can see yes get them to um, make us make their natural behaviors and their sounds so they came and they found our bad-eared fox and our kinkajou and he after he mixed them all together and with the baby um baby voice, a human voice, and that became the voice of Baby Yoda. Wow. Now, unfortunately, the, the, the fox that they used passed away over the last couple of years, but is there any plan to give them more sounds or work with them for future seasons? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have a huge variety of animals and a lot of crazy communications and a lot of uh, crazy sounds coming from them, so we're happy to work with them at any time. Tell us a little bit more about Wild Wonders and what you guys do here. Sure. Well, Wild Wonders is a, a wildlife center, and we're private. We're not open to the public. But what we do is we do um, tours by appointment and we do animal education outreach in schools and libraries and you can come with your family and we take animals out for you to get up close and personal with because what these guys are furry four-legged creature teachers they are ambassadors for their wild cousins well we appreciate it Kimberly and thank you Kima the kinkajou the voice of <laughs> baby Yoda a, a star among us on Star Wars Day live in Bonzel Jared Aarons may the fourth be with you and may the uh -huh. fourth be with you, Jared. Kima is chowing down. I was thinking, how much room is there for grapes in this little creature? I know. I know, right? Well, you know, it's hard work voicing baby She's Yoda, eating so. all of it. He's, she's <laughs> loving it. Right. That's adorable. Such a cool thing to know, you know, behind the scenes. Jared, thank you so much.